We are making this video to guide you through the setup and operation of the machine. In this video, we will demonstrate powering up the machine, securing the workpiece in the chuck, setting the material zero in the late mode, changing the add-ons, and setting the material zero in the fourth axis mode. First, connect the machine to a power source, then turn on the switch. Once the touch screen turns on, firstly tap the reset button on the touch screen to clear the alarm and then be sure the selected mode is late mode. After that, tap the home button on the touch screen to move the machine to its home position, which will set the machine's zero point. A crucial point to note here is that this homing process should be performed each time the machine is powered off. After homing process is complete, lift the cover to mount the workpiece. Use the chuck key to loosen the chuck jaws at the three points just enough to fit the workpiece. After securing the workpiece, manually rotate the chuck to check for any run out. If necessary, apply a light tap on the workpiece to minimize runout. Once you are sure there is no runout, close the cover and tap the reset button on the touch screen to clear the door, door alarm. Then use the axis movement control buttons to bring the QCTP close to the workpiece. If your machine doesn't have a QCTP installed, Use an M6 bolt and an uh, M5 Allen key to mount it. Details about the tool bit used for the sample G code file we prepared are shared with you, so you can refer to that file for specifics on the tool. Next, set the chart to rotate at 1000 RPM. Gently bring the tool to touch the surface of the material using the X control buttons on the touch screen. And align the tool along the X axis so that the tool will touch the material's center line. According to our file, the diameter of the material should be 60 mm. To reach the center line, move the tool down along the X axis by half of the diameter which means 13 mm. Once the tool is aligned with the material center line, zero out both X and Z axis on the touch screen. Move the QCTP along the x-axis above the radius of the material and along the z-axis by 5mm. Then stop the chuck rotation by pressing the stop button on the touch screen. To load the G-code file, insert your USB flash drive into the machine. Tap load file button on the touch screen and select the G-code file you want to run. To check the G-code file you selected, you can tap the preview button.
If all previous steps have been completed correctly, tap the run button to start the program. Before running the program, ensure the emergency stop button is between reach in case any unforeseen issues arise. While the program is running, stay near the machine for safety and observe the operation. After the program finishes, open the cover and use an M5 Allen key to remove the QCTP. Then attach the spindle using an M6 bolt and MF M5 Allen key. Details about the tool insert for use with the spindle are available in the file we provided. Connect the spindle to the connector. Close the cover and press the reset button to clear the door alarm. Then select the fourth access mode. Once the spindle is connected and the fourth access mode is selected, you are ready to set the zero of the material. With the chuck stationary, move the spindle so the tip of the cutting tool attached to it lightly touches the material along the z-axis. With the chuck stationary, move the spindle so that the tip of the attached cutting tool aligns with the center of the material surface along the z-axis. Set the zero, the x-axis on the touch screen. Move the spindle along the z-axis to touch the surface of the material. Move the spindle 
and up the z-axis towards the material by a distance equal to the radius of the cutting tool used in the spindle. Then set the zero, the z-axis on the touch screen. Move the spindle along the x-axis by the radius of the material and along the z-axis by 5 mm. Set the zero, the c-axis by tapping the c-axis button on the touch screen. After setting the zero of the material, tap the load file button and select the g-code file you will be using. To check the G-code file you select, you can tap the preview button. If all previous steps have been completed correctly, tap the run button to start the program. We hope this video is informative and helpful. Thank you for watching.